them obviously don't fit into the shot, but I'm gonna deal with it. Hi everyone and welcome to Studio the Soil. My name is Lina and in this video I'm gonna be creating fake cake. So let's get started. Shout out to my friend uh, for sponsoring slash ordering slash giving me the opportunity to try to make a fake cake using some foam and I think it's a some sort of plaster. I've never done anything like that, but being a YouTube expert, I watched a bunch of videos online, TikTok, YouTube. So hopefully it's gonna come out fine i have a little bit experience of making real cakes i never done anything tall like this i think this one is 26 inches all together as you can see they have have a little bit of a different um foam in here this is the one i ordered from amazon if you're interested i'm gonna leave the link down below Another one I have, I bought in Michael's. It's a different kind of foam. I don't know if it's gonna be visible. It's like a hotter one, I would say. Don't know. So this is gonna be the base. Also, as I already said, I'm gonna be using speckling. I don't know what's the difference from like Plasti de Paris, uh, then some other kind of joining compounds but that's what commonly used um, in all the tutorials that I watch so I got a gallon of the lightweight speckling it's pretty it's like it's very light also I'm gonna have a fake slice of this cake for that I just got some sponges from Target I tried to find the one that has the most I think realistic color is for like a cake it's like yellow-ish also I found some of the icing bags I haven't used the reusable one I have like a silicone one and if this one doesn't work I think I'm gonna sacrifice my silicone one I also have I don't know what's it called a spatula something to make it more smooth and even I have different ones also I have like nozzles for the icing and uh, I know how to do a little bit of that what I think I'm gonna test out how it's gonna go we will see if this project is set to be a failure or not <laughs> I also don't have that special wheel type of thing that helps you sorry that helps um, you to rotate the foam while you're working on it I was thinking I will be able just twist it myself we will see okay let's jump to it and for some reason, I find it hard to voice my videos as I go. So it's uh, Lina from the future. <laughs> and I'm just going to basically describe the steps that I was making. And first, I decided to prepare that like a hole for the future slice. For that, I just measured the sponge and um, just trying to make it look natural, I would say. I cut off the slice and then using... Um, heated blade of the knife i just sliced through the foam almost ruined the knife though and because that foam was a little bit hotter than this regular stair foam it was a little bit hotter to do that but i made it happen and after i prepared the hole i used the glue gun to glue two tiers together for the base
and after that using that light speckling i start mixing the base color which is going to be this light blue i didn't need much of the acrylic paint just a little bit it mixing with the color pretty well that's what i liked it and also the texture of this paste is very creamy and actually looks like a real cream So I just first start applying with the spatula, spreading it out, make sure it's somewhat even. <laughs> In the same way, I added on the rest of the tears, adding on the hot glue in between to attach them together and just keep spreading paste all over. And also here it's where I realized that it's going to be kind of hard for me to make those sides smooth. <laughs> and um, because I didn't have the, the wheel yet. So here I was trying to do my best making it even. I was trying to make the surface smooth for a long time. At the end, I decided just to do my best and let it dry until next day and maybe sanding it would help to smooth out the surface. And the next day, most of that paste got dry. Some of the thicker parts um, was like still wet on the inside and I was able to smooth out the surface just a little bit. Also here, I decided to change the design a little bit. I had to, because <laughs> I couldn't make it super smooth and um, I decided to go with more textured look. And since I already have the blue base layer, I start applying another layer of the paste, spreading it. As you can see, I already went to the store and bought that um, turnover tool. So it got a little bit easier, but still was challenging because the cake itself, the base, because it's made out of foam, it's super light and it kept moving. So I was doing my best. <laughs> so I spreading out evenly after that, um, went with the backside of my spatula to create that wavy texture and also just remove some access of those clumps here and there.
as i was moving up i decided to kind of make the transition into the white to make it look a little bit more interesting so for this next year i added half of the blue paste and then half of just the white straight from the bucket again just mix it up together um, make sure it's somewhat even and then using the back side of the spatula i was just turning the wheel and uh, moving my spatula around In the very top tier, I decided to make it just white. Also, while it was relevantly wet, I start adding those little like confettis, I would say. Those are the real ones for the real cakes. And then I couldn't find the real ones like in a bigger size, so I was just using my beads that are like on a pearl color I had different sizes and while the paste was still kind of wet I started attaching them also the, the tiniest ones were like attaching to the very wet paste just like whenever you apply it like you need to attach something small like this right away because it's getting air dry pretty quickly and it doesn't want to stick to it later on um, at the very end i used uh, spray glue to attach more of those tiny ones and here i just keep continuing to adding on the beads onto the cake
after that i let it dry for a couple of days maybe three to four days and when it was completely dry i started adding more of a decor i decided to go with white flowers in different sizes i have like a bigger roses smaller ones and um, those tiny little branches and first i kind of marked where the flowers are gonna be then i first started touching the smallest um flowers i was attaching them using just a metal wire kind of you know creating the stem twisting it and just pinning in into the foam then i was adding smaller flowers next to it again with the same thing also using the lighter here just to get rid of uh, the fuzzy edges um, on those fabric fake flowers and kind of to cover up those uh, stems and everything i'm adding on the bigger flowers and here how it looks like and the same way i added them on the top and the bottom and at the very bottom already at the very very end And here's the part where I'm filling in that hole with the fake slice. I already um, cut out the shapes for the sponges. After that, using the icing bag, I'm adding on the paste again, spreading it out, making sure it's even, and adding on another sponge. I decided to go with three layers but then when i want to start um, adding on into the hole i realize it's not enough so on the very very bottom i slice like a very thing slice from another sponge and just added it on It still was not in a level, but since I'm gonna be covering that with the cream, I mean with the paste, uh, it's still, it's gonna be fine. Then I mixed the same color of blue and added into the icing uh, bag and just start covering up. Also, I was working with the brush, um, just make it wet with water and um, it's kind of smoothing out that piece pretty well as well. Mm -hmm. 
and then I let it dry and here's my final result. Uh, to be honest, it was very challenging process. It took me two weeks um, just because I had to do like breaks and everything, but I really wanted to try to make the fake cakes and now after making one I can say that it is pretty hard to make fake cake. I'm not sure if it's as hard as making the real one but it's somewhere neck like close to it and as usual guys if you like this video share with me in the comments below and we'll see each other in the next one